In this video, we will discuss laying out a pipe network. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file 1204 laying out a pipe network .dwg, located in the training folder as discussed in the working with this dataset video. Civil3D provides tools for creating pipe networks by laying them out with pipe network layout tools. Let's examine how to do this based on some station offset values that we were given by the engineer. We'll zoom into our project. And then from the Create Design panel in the Pipe Network dropdown, we have the Pipe Network Creation Tools. First, we'll give this a name. So we'll call this one Storm-1. The parts list that we want to select is Storm Sewer Pipe Networks list. And setting layers is very important. This way, as you create pipes and structures, you can freeze these on the layers that are placed here. So we'll just use the suffix operation and we'll just call this dash P for proposed. Do this for the structure. And then any profile and the structure profile. And lastly, we'll do dash P for the cross sections. Click OK, and then click OK. For the surface name, we have a finished grade surface. And for the alignment, this will be our proposed alignment, which is bypass one. We will not do labels as of right now, as it does take a little bit of extra time and can slow the drawing down to place the labels as your place in the pipe network objects. Click OK, and you are now prompted with the network layout tools. So first, let's go ahead and just look at the tools available here. This button here allows you to set the pipe network properties. These are the settings that we just defined previously. You can also define the surface to lay out your pipe networks. The alignment, and then the parts list right here. So these two drop downs contain the structures that are in the parts list and the pipes that are in the parts list. So for the first one, what we want to do is define this rectangular structure and we'll actually pick the three foot catch basin. Then for the pipe, we want to select an 18 inch pipe. And then you'll notice before we actually define the placement of pipes, structures, or both, you want to make sure you toggle the upslope and downslope properly. And that's what this does here. This tool here will delete pipe network objects once they are placed. So picking the drop down, note that you can do pipes and structures only, but in this case, we have the station offsets for each of our individual structures, and we want to do the pipes and structures command. So before we begin, we actually have the station offsets. So I'm going to use the transparent commands. Again, if you prefer to use the toolbar, if you go to the view tab, use your interface panel, toolbars, you can pick these civil transparent commands. I'm going to just type it in by typing apostrophe SO, press enter, and then looking at the command line window, it's asking us to select the alignment. So note that you can pick any of the labels as well as the alignment. It'll automatically select the alignment. And for the station for this first one, we want to type in 10, 25 for our station. And this is on the right side, so we need to define the positive offset of 12 feet. And we're just going to pan across our alignment as we place this. As it continues along here, you'll notice that it stays in the station offset transparent command so that we can just keep typing in these stations and offsets. So this will be 1162, enter, and then 24 for an offset. So as we're creating our pipe network, you can change this on the fly. I want to change this to a 21 inch RCP. And instead of the catch basin, we need a drainage manhole. So this will be a four foot drainage manhole. We'll just pick that one instead. And we'll type this at 1300. And the station offset is at zero. So it's actually at the center line of the road. And notice how it automatically updates and displays the appropriate block or object based on the style that is defined for those parts. Now we want to change this back to a four foot catch basin and go to an 18 inch RCP and we'll type in 1455, enter, at an offset of 24, enter. And now we want to go to the opposite side of the road. So we'll type in 1455, enter, and then a negative 44 and then enter. Now we have a wing wall that will tie and drain out our pipe network. And so we want to select the concrete rectangular wing wall 
and pick the 54 by 12 by 83 winged wall. And for this one here, we'll select 24 inch RCP and the station offset is 1455, negative 100. Press enter. Notice how it automatically shows the correct display of that structure because the style is telling it to do so. We have completed our pipe network, so we can actually press escape a couple of times to end that. So where do the pipe networks exist in the prospector tab? So prospector tab, and then we have pipe networks category, networks collection, and notice how we already have an existing storm sewer in here, and we have the proposed storm sewer. So I can select any of the individual categories to see the different pipes and structure objects within the drawing. So let's go ahead and actually take these pipe network objects into the object viewer and view them in 3D. I'll go ahead and select one, right click select similar. Notice how it only selects these pipe network objects and not the existing pipe network objects. That is because we define the layer appropriately before placing them. I'll select one of these structures and right click select similar. And notice how it selects all the structure objects except for the ones that are in the existing. And just to make sure we get the wing wall, we'll go ahead and pick the wing wall here as well. Right click after you're done with your selection set and choose object viewer. And notice we have our pipe network. And notice the 3D modeling that is happening here because of all of the automation that is controlled by the pipe styles. Let's say we want to create an alignment and profile from this network. And we also want to add this pipe network to our other profile as well. So to create the alignment from the pipe network and the profile, let's go to the alignment dropdown, create alignment from network parts. It's asking us to define a beginning for the pipe network. So let's go ahead and zoom into the first catch basin at 10 plus 25. And then we'll define the last structure that we want to use, which is the wing wall. Press enter. And then we have the alignment name. We'll go with the default settings. It is a miscellaneous alignment because it's not going to be used anywhere else in design. We can use a proposed style or the layout, but we'll just keep it as proposed. And then as far as the labels, we'll actually set this to no labels because we don't need to see the labels. And then we also want to create a profile and a profile view. We'll click OK. And then as far as the surface is concerned, we want to show the finished grade as our surface. We'll add that in there. And now we have finished grade profile created under this alignment. Let's go ahead and draw this in the profile view. And we already have a predefined profile view style that we created for pipe network specifically. We'll click next and next just to verify all the different settings here. And in the profile display option, let's scroll to the right here and make sure that no labels are being placed because right now we have a complete label set. We'll click on this, make sure the label set set to no labels. Click OK, click Next, and this is what tells Civil 3D to display which structures and pipe objects in the profile. Click Next, and for a data band, let's go ahead and put in some pipe data. And so notice how we can grab the pipe data, infrared elevations, and so on, if you want to, and change the source that this all comes from. So I'll change this to Storm 1 for each of these here. And there's profile one and profile two. We'll just leave them as is. Click next. We don't have any hatching. So just click on create profile view. And for this profile view, it actually does go from right to left. So we'll go ahead and pick this point right here. And just like that, we now have all the data with all the different rim and invert elevations in our bands. If you'd like to actually view this a little bit beyond here as it's right near the edge, what we can do is actually extend the alignment. Because remember, it's just an alignment and the profile is a child of the alignment. So if we extend this alignment, it'll automatically update. I'll select my alignment and then just pick the alignment object. We'll turn on OSnap and we'll just use the extension OSnap to extend it that way. And we'll do the same thing for this one here. So I'll pick this and we can just simply extend this using the extension OSnap. Press escape to clear my selection set. And now we can view the profile and show some additional ground data. Let's say we want to add the pipe network to the other profile 
that let's say will be our proposed profile we actually plot from. To add any kind of pipe network objects to your profile, we can simply select one of the structure objects or the pipe network object and click on Draw Parts in Profile. And then we can select Draw in Profile View and pick the profile view for it to appear in. I can also select similar here and do the same thing for all of these if I want to do this globally. So I'll go ahead and pick one of these pipe objects, select similar, and we'll make sure that we get the rest of these structures. And notice how the ribbon stays contextual and I can click on the draw parts in profile. And just like that, when I go ahead and click on this, it automatically will add the pipe network objects. Note that if I decide to delete one of the pipe network objects from the profile view, it will not delete the actual pipe network object. All it does is it simply deletes it from the view of the profile view. This concludes this video discussing laying out a pipe network.